today's video I'm gonna show you how to get a stretch resolution in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8 with literally zero input delay. But on top it will also help you to fix a really common layout bug where you know for yourself if you're trying to sort something in your inventory the items are not exactly there where the icons are. It's super annoying. I also shouldn't forget to mention that you can apply this literally on any type of PC. It also doesn't matter if you're running Nvidia or AMD. It works literally for everyone. So therefore guys please make sure to watch the whole entire video and if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me with so so much and without any further ado let's get straight into this topic and yeah guys before we're gonna start with today's tutorial i know i said it doesn't really matter if you're running amd or nvidia which is also true but um sadly i'm only running here nvidia so therefore i'm gonna show you an extra step which you can do the same way as well on amd guys so don't be worried there all you guys have to do is just simply open up your control panel this can be whatsoever i think like it's called amd catalyst on amd but here for us on nvidia guys we're just gonna go into adjust desktop size and position and just to make this work even more more and actually disable any sort of scaling guys we're gonna go here under select the scaling mode to no scaling this is literally gonna give us the least amount of input delay because our GPU doesn't have to work extra in the background so therefore we're just gonna put it exactly here to no scaling because we're just gonna change the whole entire resolution of our window screen and under perform on scaling we're just gonna make sure that we put it onto display and just simply hit apply here real quick guys and as you can see it is configured now properly and yeah you can do the same thing as well on AMD so don't be worried there just simply google it for yourself it's super Super, super quick and now let's continue with the next step so guys and once we're done with the first step you're first of all gonna click on the first link in the description where you can find a link to my discord where you can download this new program here which is called custom resolution utility and once you get it here on your desktop just simply right click onto it and go into extract all and extract it here onto your desktop and then we're just simply gonna open this file up and there you can see now a few exadata in here and all we actually want to care about is cru.exe and restart 64 which i'm going to explain later and we're first of all gonna click here on cru until you can find here this new window with tons of metrics and all the data about your display and all the stuff boys. But first of all, before we're gonna actually change here anything, please make sure that you select the right monitor. Because I don't want to change anything here on my second monitor, obviously the first one. And yeah, it might not be in the first place even though it's selected even on Windows as your first output. So therefore, please just double check it here real quick. And yeah, now you can see like tons of stuff here guys, resolutions, you can see Hertz and all the stuff. But what we want to pay attention to in the first place is the extensions block. And we're just simply going to click onto it and go into edit until you find exactly your native resolution with the highest Hertz you have on your monitor. So for me it's 1920 times 1080 on 240 Hz, which is 239.76 Hz on Windows. I don't know, that's just like the metric they're using right now here. And then we're going to select it and click here on the top on Kobe actually. And afterwards, we're just gonna select here the top one and delete everything except the data blocks. So we're just gonna go through it real quick here, deleted everything, but just keep the data blocks, which you can see here, and then press OK. After we're done with that, we're gonna move over to standard resolutions and we're just gonna click here on to delete all, go into add and just add our normal native resolution, which is 1920 times 1080. This is just for the program as some background information. The hertz don't really matter, just simply press OK here. And then here on the left side under established resolutions, we're just gonna click onto none. So none of these here actually are selected. And then here on the top bar, we can see detailed resolutions and we're gonna click onto it and go into edit. And for some people, all of the most important information are already filled out in here as for me right now guys. But for you, if paste is still available to press, just simply click on it. That's why we copied the data there from the extensions data block. But yeah, for me right now, it's showing already perfectly. And all you guys only have to do is only fill out here the refresh rate. So if you're running a 60 Hertz monitor, put it on 60. If you're running a 75 Hertz monitor, put it on 75. And for me, since I'm running 240 Hertz and the number for 240 Hertz is 239.760, um, I actually just had to put it in there. And after you're done with that guys, all you have to do now is change exactly the resolution to the rest you wanna use. So for me, it's 1722 times 1070. So I'm just gonna put it in there and we're gonna press okay here. And if we ensure ourselves that everything is set up properly and we also selected the right screen, we're just gonna click here onto okay. And now we're just gonna go back here into our CAU file and there you can see the restart 64 exit. And I just gotta have to do a small cut here guys because this is gonna restart our display drivers. So therefore, yeah, see you guys just in a second. And yeah guys, after we're done with that, we're just gonna go into our window search bar and type in display until we find the change resolution of the display setting here. And we're just gonna open it up. And once we're in here, we're just gonna scroll down a little bit until we find advanced display. And then we can now see display adapter properties for display one. And we're just gonna select it. And once we're in here, it's gonna tell us exactly which GPU we have and all the core data. And we're gonna go here onto list all modes. 
And once we scroll down here, guys, we should already see it here, 1722 times 1070. As you can see, I already have a few more resolutions here actually in there, 1440 times 900, 1440 times um, 1080, and now also 1722 times 1070. So we're just gonna select that, press apply, and now our screen should actually turn into exactly that resolution. We're gonna keep the changes. And now we literally changed our normal Windows native resolution to 1722 times 1070 on 240 Hz. And now all we have to do is go into our Windows search bar and type in presenter temp presenter and open up the first folder here guys. Then we're just simply gonna click onto local, press F on our keyboard until we find Fortnite game, save, config, Windows client, and then we can see already our game user settings. But before we change anything guys, please make sure that the check under attribute read only is actually not set there. And then we're just simply gonna double click onto our game user settings. Scroll down a little bit until we find our resolution, which should be somewhere here. And as you can see, I still have 1440 in there. So I'm just going to change it exactly to 1722 times 1070. And the same we also have to do for our last user confirmed resolution. So we're going to put in 1722 times 1070. And yeah, after we're done with that, guys, and we ensured ourselves that it's set properly, we're just going to click onto file and onto saved close this and just to make sure that everything is also safe we're gonna right click again onto it go into properties and now we're gonna put the check here under attribute read only press apply press ok and now you successfully applied a stretch resolution in season 8 with the least amount of input delay since our monitor is already set to this resolution and there has to be no scaling over the gpu which actually reduces the input delay and yeah that's just the best way to do it actually and yeah guys normally if you use like one of the more common stretch resolutions like 1750 times 1080 1680 times 10 50 you usually won't have black bars on the left and right side but since i'm using 1722 times 1017 which is a little bit uncommon you might have to go into your settings and just simply put it on windowed full screen if you can guys please try to go for a stretch resolution where you can literally utilize full screen other than that windows full screen is still okay we're just gonna apply it here real quick and you can see for yourself now that we have no black bars here on the left and right side and everything is just stretched out exactly to where we want it and we're just gonna hop here real quick actually into creative to try it out ourselves but obviously if you can try to go for something where you can literally straight up use full screen because this gives you even less input delay and even though guys i'm running a really weird stretch resolution and i have to utilize windowed full screen this is still giving me less input delay than going for normal traditional scaled um, resolution And as you can see guys, everything just feels super responsive and I can 100% recommend it. I mean, just take a look at my FPS guys right now here. I'm on 5 to 600, sometimes even 700 FPS here in creative. And I have to say, I don't feel any sort of extra input delay or extra latency and I can highly recommend this guys. And yeah guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, Stay awesome, I'm out. Peace. That shit too light. Before it all come get inside. Dami Gucci Lee, come take a dive.